How do we, we do it? Because we're familiar and we wire these things in our bodies. And so this is really technical stuff, but I Jeez. anchor the good states. And so what happened was, is that usually where wiring happens is in a highly emotional state, we anchor it in our bodies physically. That's what we do. And so the way out of that is to begin to anchor the great states. So I take advantage of great states. So for example, just a few weeks ago, my daughter was home from college and we took a walk on the beach and it was just this blissful experience. It was me and the you know, one of the people I love the most in the world. And I'm feeling this great peace and love from my daughters were walking and I anchored it. I literally anchored it in my body. I literally snapped my fingers as I went and I anchored that state. And so, or when I'm walking on stage, I'm about to, you know, have to speak and that, that adrenaline hits me and that euphoria, the spirit, the energy hits me, I'll anchor that state physically. And so what happens is I'm rewiring myself physically. For example, like I pray on my knees every night. And so I've been doing that for a number of years. I feel great peace when I pray. What's ironic about it is not only is the prayer now peaceful, but the actual physical move of getting on my knees triggers that state. Mm. So this is a very detailed answer, but I've no, rewired. I want the detail. We yeah, want the yeah, detail. Okay, so I've rewired. So everybody, you know, when you're in that blissful state, anyone's ever heard a song from your from a different time and it just triggers a state it's not the words in the music it's what was going on in that moment you've anchored it in your body so when i'm in a good state a great state i take advantage of it i don't let it pass i anchor it in my body and i've sort of rewired myself so that when these ones that i don't want come along i have a neurology i can change mm -hmm. out of that move and do something physical and it's simple it's not complicated it could be tugging your ear feeling something on your shirt something you do on your knees so i've created like triggers in my life to put me back in that state and over time that's become my wiring now mm -hmm. not the old one this is more familiar to me than the old one tendency now is to move towards the familiar state of bliss of joy i'd say 75, 80% of the time now, that's where I live. Whereas before 95% of the time I lived the other way. I love that advice. And, and please be as technical and as detailed okay. as you like, because you spark so much for me. I was thinking that actually the truth is everyone already has subconscious anchors that we're not choosing. And so an example is when I'm working with a client, often they'll say to me, the moment their head hits the pillow, yes. all of their anxiety goes crazy. Yes. What is that?